<laughs> so welcome to the modular clubhouse my name is jesper and this is the vlh by cm modular So the VLH or VCO's Little Helper was a collaboration between CM Modular and Steve O'Hare, tech journalist slash synth musician. And they've been able to pack a lot of functionality in just two HP. Yes, I'm not mixing up my words, two HP. And we've got a ring modulator, a sub oscillator with not just one, but two uh, sub octaves. And they've also included a noise generator and this nifty little patch bay with pass-through values. So, as mentioned, a lot of ground to cover that I would say, well, let's uh, dive right in, shall we? Here we go. VCO's little helper, 2 HP of a lot of functionality. So let me just quickly give you the run through. So you've got two inputs, A and B, and you've got your, uh, well, your special outputs, so you've got your um, your first sub oscillator, uh, which is one octave below, and you've got your second sub generator, two octaves below, and you've got your ring modulation A times B, so it's a multiplication, of course, and you've got your noise generator there too, and then you've got the nifty little pass through, and that is of course something that's just going to save you a multiple or having you to repatch if you do want to use the original source or anything else there as well so what i like about the well the subs here is that you can also use them as a clock divider so that's why i like that they said oh, it's not just the first sub below or the second sub below no it's actually divided by two divided by four so it makes sense from a frequency perspective, but also from a clock division perspective, which is of course also a frequency, so it still holds. Um, I need to shut up and just continue doing what I do best, and that's demoing these modules. So what I do want to do is I've got my trusty Keystep 37 here as well, so I'm just gonna connect that, and I'm gonna be using the owner as the source, so I'm gonna connect the octave output there I might need to use a different cable for that that will work there we go so we have that one and we then use the octave out so you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the multiple here so I'm going to be using buff Jarvis to multi to multiple these two so I've got the full productive and I've got the gate outputs which I'm going to be pushing into the SAR and then I'm going to be patching the SAR to the VCA there we go and I'm going to be grabbing the output from this here using that as the input and with some sort of foreboding, I'll be using the output of this, passing that through the mix, also by Tacab and CM Modular, and use that to give us some outputs. Now, assuming that everything went well, we should now be able to hear something. There you go. So, this is the normal patch. So this is just me using the oscillator as we should so if we then instead of using this I'm just going to be grabbing the oscillator output and using that as the A output on the VLH I can then grab the pass through and just to show you that it is indeed exactly what we think it is that's great right and what we can then also do is grab the octave below. So maybe fun to point out is that even though if I grab a sine wave and grab that, you'll see the sine wave being generated. Let me just change this real quickly to normalized. 
So this is the sine wave that we're currently getting from the Orna. But the sub generation will always be a square wave, independently of what the input is. Second octave below. Quite nice, right? So this is a an E2. So again, just to prove to you how, how, how versatile this thing is, and you can also just grab the noise, of course, and say, I just want to have noise. As you can see, the noise is not completely level. It does fall off a bit at the lower and higher ends, uh, but that's, of course, to be expected. So that being said, let's uh, go a bit further. So that's enough about the well, the sub -generate generators, but we'll come back to those later on. So let's have a look at the ring modulation. So in order for us to use that, I'm going to be needing some additional inputs. So I'm just going to grab the full preoptive, pass that through to chips. I'm going to be using the first oscillator there. And let's grab the output from chips one and put that there as well so we now should have nice noise <laughs> there we go that's already quite musical let me just see if we can make it a bit So now both oscillators are getting the same fault proactive, but they're of course not tuned to the exact same note. I can do that, of course. So that's what we can get with the ring modulation. You can of course also grab, instead of using the full proctive, you can also just grab uh, an LFO to get a bit more, well, sci-fi sounds to it. Let's uh, grab an LFO then. So I'm just going to grab this one here. Personally, I prefer to use the, the more musical VCO approach. Much more musical it's richer so I like that um, then of course we have the noise generation as said that's something that we can work with but where noise really comes into play is of course when you combine it with let's say with with additional sounds so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how you can patch everything that comes out of this oscillator so you will get the the, the, the normal sound, you'll get the two subs and you'll get some noise and patch that into and so you can actually start making some sort of percussionary sounds. So I'm just going to do that real quickly. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that we have everything connected. So that's connected. And then instead of 
using the mixer there, I'm going to be using all of the outputs from this here, passing that all through to the S mix. So everything goes into the S mix. There we go. So that's the octave below, the pass through, and of course the second sub. And I want to grab some noise. So now we have four signals coming in. And I want to grab the output from that mix and pass use that as the input for the VCA. And then of course we're going to connect the output there directly to the VCA. If you listen to that, you're going to hear four sounds. So you're going to have the noise, you're going to have your first one, your uh, first sub, second sub, and that's about it. And if you then really sh or change the envelope a bit, it starts to sound like either a hi-hat or maybe a snare. You really play it sh really short if you trigger it with something else so let's grab the LFO from there I truly like that so that being said I think that this is a great introduction to this collaboration between CM Modular and Steve here. Um, and I truly love this. I've been, I'm just amazed how they've been able to put this into 2HP because this is, of course, fantastic and it's such a so value per HP wise. This is a gold mine. So I can't recommend this enough. Everyone, go to cmmodular.com and grab this because it's it's fantastic. So one of the things I'm almost forgetting is that you can always use the sub generators as clock dividers as well. I did mention this at the beginning of this video. So let's uh, disconnect this patch real quickly. And that's the whole reason why I included the tip of audio one in this patch, of course. So let's grab this because essentially, of course, a sub generator is doing nothing else than for every four peaks, for instance, ping once and if we can use that for audio signals it's fair to assume that you can do the same thing for CV as well so in this case CV meaning clock so I'm going to be using the LFO from chips and you can see that that will trigger the tip top audio one and play a sample there you go so if you then, instead of looping it through this, you can do it like this and grab the through output. Oh, sorry, wrong one. It's still the same. But if you then go into the second, the, the, the first sub, you'll, you'll hear that the frequency is half as, half as high. What you can then also do is make something like a percussionary well, voice here. And you can actually say, well, okay, let's uh, grab that one, use that as an input, maybe grab some noise. Here we go. Just patch this through. Grab this here. I 
I love that. You can also just grab the last one and say, well, let's just use that as it is. So that being said, this is the last of the demos I had installed for you using the VCO's little helper, AKA VLH from CM Modular and Steve O'Hare. Let's go back to the studio and wrap this up, shall we? Cheers. So I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the VLH VCO's little helper by CM Modular and Steve O'Hare. Um, if you've got any questions for me or for them, uh, just drop me a comment down below and I'll make sure to reach out to them uh, or you can just drop me a line at yesper at the modular clubhouse.nl uh, other than that I would like to ask everyone to like and subscribe that's going to help the channel tremendously and for now I would say please everyone stay safe stay healthy and I hope to see you next time cheers